uh, uh, what if he takes surgery but not able to invest later in hospital being a middle class so should we take less budget branch as per private setup uh, so even uh, i was uh, analyzing the financial aspects uh, of um, taking this uh, of uh, take uh, while choosing the branches so i thought that if i'm taking surgery uh, for the next uh, Fifth, uh, I may not. I may be wrong. Please pardon me. But uh, I thought that if I'm taking surgery for the next fifteen, twenty years, uh, my growth will be. Uh, it will be a kind of static. It will be kind of bit a um, uh, bit upward slope. But it won't be uh, rapid. But after forty, if I'm uh, after forty, I'll I'll start earning a lot. Like when I become a proper consultant, I'll start earning a lot. Uh, then we can establish hospitals. That was my thought. That that is what I saw in uh, most of my uh, seniors and most of the faculties whom I know. uh but again uh if you want to earn a lot if you want to earn from day one then you should take branches related to uh medicine and allied so uh, if you if you're taking ms then it will definitely take time to settle like 10 15 years to settle but if you're taking uh, community medicine or general medicine pediatrics these kind of medicine branches if you're taking you are a consultant from day one and patients will come to you from day one so if you have financial hurdles then i would uh, suggest you to think about the possibility of getting into uh, medicine and allied branches